Harden in North America news, I'm Dave from PlayHarden.com. You can go to PlayHarden.com slash shop for all your Harden equipment needs. We're now stocking both standard and premium Cooltech Harleys, you can find the link below. In this episode, we're taking a look at what happened in May of 2023. In California, the iconic West Coast Sevens tournament was hosted by San Diego GAA during Memorial Day weekend. We were delighted to have a pop-up shop at the tournament, thanks to everyone who stopped by our stall. Over 350 athletes participated in the Seven Aside tournament, and St. Peter San Diego had a double win in Herden Senior and Herden Junior C. In Quebec, Montreal Shamrocks hosted teams from all over Canada and the US for their annual Montreal May tournament. Toronto's Napiershik won in the Komogi, and Ottawa's Era Oak won in the Harden. In Montana, teams from all over the Pacific Northwest competed in the McEnany Cup in Missoula, and Thomas Meyer Harden Club took home the cup. In our new segment, Give This Person a Hurl, here's a baseball player pitching and catching from afar. Let's go! Give this man a hurl. In our other segment, They Gave This Person a Hurl, here's professional golfer Shane Lowry putting down his golf clubs for a hurling center. <laughs> oh, oh, cold! <laughs> In BC, Van Isle Rovers hosted 43 teams from 9 clubs across the US and Canada. Kukul and Vancouver won in both the Hurton and Camogie finals. In Chicago, Michael Cusick's hosted the Spring Hurton Tournament on May 20th. Naperville, Madison, Indianapolis and Michael Cusick's competed at Chicago's Gaelic Park. Chicago's Michael Cusick's took the win against Madison in the final. May's Photo of the Month goes to San Antonio GAC, who hosted the first round of the Texas League. May's Video of the Month goes to Ashley the Skateboard Nurse, who skateboarded down a San Francisco street while solo in a center. This May, there are two clubs of the month. First up, Greenville Gales, who provided coverage of the Greenville Cup and their U Cup on our social media accounts. Thanks so much to Mark and his team for sharing a behind the scenes look at these tournaments. In the Greenville Cup, Red Wolves Hurling Club took the win in the Hurling, and Atlanta took the win in Komodi. The second club of the month goes to San Diego Nafina. A special thanks to Jackie from Nafina for taking over our social media accounts and sharing some highlights of the West Coast Sevens. Make sure to go follow the Greenville Gales, Greenville Gales Youth, and San Diego Nafina. I'll leave a link to all their details below. Looking to get started with Hurling at Komogi this June? Here are a few tournaments to look out for. On June 17th, Indianapolis GA will host the Indy Invitational, which is one of the largest Midwest tournaments. On June 18th, Montreal Shamrocks will host their fourth annual Pride Game Day tournament. All proceeds from the tournament registrations will be donated to the LGBT community in Montreal. Clubs from all over the world are preparing for the GA World Games, which is happening in six weeks. This will be the largest World Games to date, with over 2,000 players from 100 teams participating. Keep up with events like these on playherden.com slash events. And that's it for this episode of Herden North America News. Thanks so much for watching. And if you need any Herden equipment, go to playherden.com slash shop for hurls, helmets, slitters, and anything else you may need. And I'll see you guys in the next video.